Okay, everybody, let's talk to front tire. I'm gonna take my front tire off because the bead's leaking and I have to add air a couple times a week. So I'm gonna take it to work and get it um, sealed up. So wait, let me, lens look kind of dirty. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna remove the front wheel. Um, the tricky part to the front wheel is the speedo linkage and spacers in there there's a couple of spacers and um also a speedo cable so let me show you show you what we got before we get going here um right here is your speedo cable hold down you see mine's broke it's on there okay for now been working okay so you can see the part that's spinning and the part that's staying stationary okay this piece all right this piece and this piece are going to be two separate deals they're going to fall out when you pull the bolt out there's also a spacer over here that's gonna come apart. So, you need to pay attention on the front wheel. Let's get it back together. I'm not gonna show you back together today because I'm just taking it apart to take it to work tomorrow. So, let's, um, let's get started here. I think you can see. Oh, excuse me. All right, remove the screw. The screw that holds your speedo cable in. Remove that. Slides out. See? It's a little flapper in there. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, I wasn't really planning on taking the front wheel off, so I didn't bring my big long ratchet with a half inch drive socket on it. So, we're going to give this a go and see if it works. If it doesn't, then I guess I'll have to make a new video tomorrow. All right, so I got two ratchets. See, one's longer than the other, but I really don't think this is long enough. So we're gonna use this one. Take a socket, deep well socket that fits the handle. Get as many extensions as you can. You just made yourself a cheater pipe. I looked around the shop, didn't have a pipe, so this is how you make your own cheater pipe. And the more extensions you put on, the longer your cheater pipe. So we're gonna give this a go. These are on there pretty good. And of course, this is a piece of crap ratchet too, so. All right. We actually got it to go. So, once again, I'll put it on my gun here. All right. Nuts off. There's no washers behind that or anything. Now, oh, and if you watched my previous video, you saw how to take this off. Um, I made a 
video on that. So we're gonna turn this back on here. We still got a little space there, right? Okay. <clears throat> oh, get you a hammer. See it move? Okay. Unscrew it a little bit. Tap it again. Unscrew it a little bit. Tap it again. Okay, the reason we put this nut on here and tapped on it with a hammer is so that we didn't mess the threads up. You don't want to mess that bolt up. I'm, I don't even know where you'd get a new one. So, this is where it's going to get tricky. Because I don't know how I'm going to film it on all that falls out. Because I can't have the camera on both sides. And I've got to be where the camera's at. So. Okay, so. I think your best bet is to be over here watching this speedo because it's notched and everything let me get you let me get you up there okay so when we pull i got my foot underneath the wheel let me show you so you got my foot underneath the wheel so i can hold it up because once you pull this bolt out gonna go haywire and I've also got a jack underneath the bike to hold the front up so here goes let's see what some stuff's probably gonna fall out oh that bad boy didn't want to come out so I'm gonna tap on her all right so this is your dilemma <clears throat> Oh, the bolt don't want to come out. So, take like a screwdriver, like this, tap in the middle, and you're not going to go crazy with tapping on it, just tap on it lightly. Let me get you set back up here. All right, can you, all right, I'll be in the city. Okay. All right. Long ass bolt. Okay. All right. So you just saw it happen. That's how quick it comes out. This has got a tab right here. I guess I'll show you once I get the wheel out of the way. All right. So you can see that's wanting to fall off. So be careful of that. That just fits on there like that. Okay, did you get that? Okay, see this couple of grooves in there? <clears throat> There's a couple of grooves in the wheel. So, okay, so let's take this out because it's going to fall out. So I'm gonna take this out, set it over on a towel, so it doesn't get dirty. <clears throat> okay, now we gotta use this wheel out of here. All right, so that's the mare out of the tire.
interesting, I don't remember. <coughs> I don't remember fighting this hard. So, let's wiggle at this point. All right. This piece just came out from the other side. All right, so, hold your forks. Okay, we'll let that down. All right, so the wheel, This point is off, okay? Get your wheel off. This thing moves around. You can see that, that's gonna be when you put your wheel up. That piece that came off right here fits on that. There's two of mine, there's one on this side one on the other side okay those have to stay there when you add it back in okay the notch i was talking about i mean dang i'm on the struggle bus today i'm not gonna lie Okay, this notch. I don't know if you can see it. Let me make sure you see it. This notch right here. Okay. When this piece is on here, it butts up against there. I hope you can see that. Oh, yeah, fine, fine. All right, let's. Okay. So now, when this bolts up here, that notch, that notch together. It's just under it, so. And that's when you put it back together. Um, it's getting hot here in Oklahoma. All right, so on your caliper side, where you've got your caliper and your rotor, there's this spacer right here. I am taking that out and putting it over on my towel with my other stuff because I don't want to lose that at work and then get home and not be able to put it back together okay we kind of I think I showed you but I don't there's a notch right there and there's a notch directly on the other side of it and there's two notches on that so when it goes in, that's what makes it spin. That's what makes your speedo spin. Okay, so there you have it. Mine's a 93. I would say this would work for pretty much all helixes, but I'm not exactly sure. I do know it will work up to 2,000. The year 2000 so as you can see i got a big mess going on and once again i am changing the rear tires too <clears throat> so i got my rear tire off and now i got my front tire off i'm taking them both to work i got a new back tire and um I'm going to reseal my um, front.
front tire so I don't have to add air to it. Once again, everybody, I hope you uh, liked the video. I hope it helps you to do what you need to do. Um, tomorrow, I'll try to make a video of putting it back on for you guys so you can get that stuff lined up because it's, it's kind of tricky, but it's not real bad. So, hope this helps. Like and subscribe, like always. Peace out.